my top tips for scouting are stop the truck and get out, walk into the field, get away from the end field, from the end rows, and walk into the field and then look at several positions with several locations, look for diseases, and what you want to be doing is you want to be looking for symptoms. It's a good idea to know what you're looking for. So based on the growth stage of the crop, what should I be looking for? It's tasseling, I should probably be looking for foliar diseases. The way that we tell the foliar diseases apart is by the shape of the spots, right? So a rectangular spot is going to be grey leaf spot. A cigar shaped um, spot will be northern corn leaf blight. Those are the symptoms that we see on the plant that help us distinguish that that's what the disease is. Similar to many crop diseases, corn anthracnose primarily overwinters in crop residue left in the field from the previous season. It is most typically seen in no-till and reduced tillage farming systems. Anthracnose can attack corn at various stages of growth. It first appears as leaf blight and usually occurs up through V6. At this stage, blight will show up on lower leaves as uneven, water-soaked round spots. Late season anthracnose blight symptoms may spread to upper corn leaves following pollination. Delaro controls a broad range of corn diseases for stronger, healthier plants. Visit delaro.us to learn how Delaro fungicide can help you achieve your personal best yield.